Welcome to Warp Tech. So these are the vibrational modes of a pipe or tube closed at one end and open on the other end. Um, you can see the higher modes. And one thing I want to point out, I mean, it's the same if you're doing ultrasound or if you're doing a flute or a clarinet or something like that, um, or a drum head with an open bottom, or a drum head with a closed bottom, actually, because the head of the drum vibrates in and out, but the other end, a closed bottom, wouldn't. The tube here has a closed bottom, and this closed uh, end can't move so the velocity here is always zero and that's what's represented here and when you have a standing wave these um, peaks are where the velocity is a maximum in both directions as you can see velocity is going in toward this pressure zone and out away from it on both sides <clears throat> now if we go back to this view you can see that in this resonance condition, the air is pushing against the end and pushing out the other end. And then it comes to the middle and compresses. And then it compresses up against this end and pushes out this end. It's kind of like breathing. <clears throat> it's a Helmholtz resonator, but without the neck. It's just the tube. And so when the air comes out this end, some of it is lost to turbulence, uh, vortices. And you get a vortex ring that gets propagated away from here. And then when it contracts back in, it sucks air in from the outside because there's a lack of pressure in here. So the air from the outside actually forces its way in. And if you apply the right sound, then this resonance condition can provide thrust. And there are a couple of uh, videos on YouTube about creating propulsion from sound using a Helmholtz resonator. So what does this have to do with Alexei's Graviflyer? Think of this end. Is, these flapping parts are the spinning discs. And then this is the top disc, and there is a, it's like a hard ceramic or something on the top. And then this is your middle disc. And you see the middle disc and the top are fixed points. They're the nodes. And the spinning discs vibrate. And when you get half a wavelength between the spinning discs, and half a wavelength between the fixed disks and you get them all lined up like this then this way would be up in in this direction so you get uh, a waveform just like this in sound underneath the device and then the air is free to get out underneath but it gets out and causes a turbulence and a vortices that move away from it and expand around it. And uh, so there's nothing directly below it. The, um, when the vortex comes out, they expand away, leaving a hole in the middle. So as the vortex comes out, the uh, air's like breathing in and out of this resonator. And it's a Helmholtz resonator. where you have got two spinning disks and two nodes. And if you set it up this way, the ultrasound will form a column around those discs that will behave just like this and you get propulsion from sound. Those are my thoughts as of December 30th at 10.25 p.m. 2021. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. I've been wrong before. Anyway, if you like, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I've uploaded a new video and we're going to keep at it. Tell your friends I need to get to a thousand.